الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد continue on in our study of shar the sharh of usul uh, sunna imam ahmed rahimahu allah ta'ala and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon all the salaf of this ummah and the ulama of this ummah rahimahum allah jami'an and continuing in our studies, we're talking about the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the last lesson, we mentioned the Arba Maratib, or the four levels of the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the divine decree of Allah wa ta'ala. And we mentioned that those four levels, we mentioned first, we mentioned uh, Ilm. We mentioned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has knowledge, full knowledge of all things. And that the second level is al kitaba And we explain Kitabah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written everything in Allah al-Mahfuz. And then we've reached the third martaba min maratib al-Qadr. The third level from the four levels of the Qadr, of the Divine Decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is uh, Arada wa Mashia. This is Arada wa Mashia. Arada meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, everything happens within the will, in accordance to the Divine Will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Shaykh uh, Abdulaziz al-Raji, mentioned in explaining this, and we're going to read from the Sheikh's Sharh and just translate it and leave it at that, bi'ibnillah ta'ala, and if something needs to be articulated in English to further explain, we'll do so. Qala Sheikh, al-martabata, al-martabatu thalith, qala al-irada wal-mashiyah, wa arada no'an, diniyah wa kawniya. So very important here, the Sheikh said that the third level from the levels of the Qadr is the divine will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, that he wills tabarak wa ta'ala this is one of the characteristics of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he said it, it, it is further the arada is further divided into two types diniya wa kawniya and then he says wal marad huna al irada ta kawniya al muradafa lil mashiya وَهِيَ تَقْتَدِيَ الْإِيمَانِ بِأَنَّ اللَّهَ أَرَادَ وَشَاءَ كُلُّ شَيْءٍ وَقَعَ فِي هَذَا الْوُجُودِ فَتُؤْمِنْ بِأَنَّ كُلُّ شَيْءٍ وَقَعَ فِي هَذَا الْوُجُودِ فَقَدْ سَبَقَتْ أَرَادَةَ اللَّهِ وَمَشِيَتِهِ بِهَا خَيْرًا كَانْ أَوْ شَرًا So the Sheikh said regarding the irada akawniya he said, Arada Qawniya, and it also is in reference to the Mashiach of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, has the same meaning. He said, it includes having Iman that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, that he wills, that everything happens in accordance, that he willed everything. Everything that happens in this creation, and that we believe or that you should believe, a person should believe, this is part of Iman, this is part of Asul Sunnah, that everything that happened in this creation is by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is in accordance with the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and this is Koniya, this is Koniya, and as we mentioned, Koniya was Shariya, Koniya referring to those things, that Allah, this is the general will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that everything in creation that was created and everything that happens is in accordance with the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in general. Irada Sharia is in reference to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. So those things that are pleasing to Allah, that is the difference between the two types of irada qawniya wa irada shari'iya. Irada qawniya has to do with that nothing escapes the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The fact that we're having this dars, 
This lecture is in accordance with the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The fact that someone has committed a sin, just committed a burglary, just committed a crime, is in, in accordance with the will, the general will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing escapes this. This is the general will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But those things which please Allah, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has power over all things, those things which please Allah, we refer to this as the irada shari'ah, those things which happen in the divine decree in accordance with with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's pleasure, meaning that the fact that uh, we're mentioning the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that this is from the dhikr of Allah, this is pleasing to Allah, the fact that you made your salat, this is from the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is from the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's pleasing to him, this is according to the sharia, the fact that people do righteous deeds, do good deeds, this is according to the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's pleasure, those things that you related to Iman, that you believe in Allah, that you believe in the angels, that you believe in his books, that you believe in the messengers, that you believe in the decree, the divine decree, the khayrihi wa sharrihi and the yawm al qiyamah. All of those things are in accordance with the uh, irada sharia, those things which are pleasing to Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's will is divided into both of those, uh, irada sharia or irada kawniya. Then the shaykh, he went on to say, he said that everything happens in accordance with the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Khairin kan o sharrin, birrin o fajurin, ta'atin o ma'asiyatin, imanin o kufrin. For kulu shay, waka'a fi hadhal wujud, fakad waka'a bi mashiyatillah wa kudratihi. Fala yaka'a fi mulk, fi mulkillah ma la yurid. وَمَا وَقَعَ مِنْهُ فَإِنَّهُ مَبْنِيٌ عَلَى الْحِكْمَةِ فَاللَّهُ تَعَالَى لَا يَخْلُقْ شَيْءٍ إِلَّا لِحِكْمَةِ وَلَا يَأْمُرُ إِلَّا لِحِكْمَةِ وَلَا يَنْهَى إِلَّا لِحِكْمَةِ وَلَا يُقَدِّرْ إِلَّا لِحِكْمَةِ قال الله تعالى إِنَّ رَبَّكَ عَلِيمٌ حَكِيمٌ so then the Shaykh said, Hafid Allah Ta'ala, he said that everything is in accordance with the will of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And again, this is referring to uh, Arada or Mashia, uh, that uh, Mashia Koniya, the general will of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, the good of it and the evil. That everything that happens that's good and evil is in accordance with the will of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. The wicked, wicked ones and the, uh, uh, the, the righteous ones. Uh, obedience to Allah and disobedience to Allah, iman or faith and disbelief. All of these things are happen uh, that happen within this creation. Are they only happen in accordance with the Mashiyatillah by the will of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and according to His decree and 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 everything is contained within His power Subhanahu Wa Taala. So, therefore, nothing happens in the mulk or dominion of Allah, except that he willed it. And nothing happens in it, except that it is built upon wisdom. That Allah, the Almighty, created everything in accordance with his divine wisdom. And he doesn't command a thing except with wisdom. And he does not prohibit such a, anything except with wisdom. And he does not decree uh, something except with wisdom and Allah the Almighty says in the Quran verily your Lord uh, is the all-knowing the all-wise so everything happens within accordance in accordance with the divine wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the good and the evil and this is all in reference to Arada or Mashia Konia not Shara'iya, and we've already explained that, and we've explained it in Akhir al-Wasafiyya, so go back to Wasafiyya uh, if you need to do so. Then the Shaykh said something very beneficial, letting us know about those uh, other groups of innovation that went astray with regarding the, the divine decree of Allah. He said, وَلِهَذَا لَمَّا أَنْكَرَ الْقَدْرِيَ وَقُوعْ الْمَعَاسِ بِمَشِيَةِ اللَّهِ وَقَالُوا الْعَبْدُ يَخْلَقْ فِعْلْ نَفْسُهُ رَدَّ عَلَيْهِمْ أهل السنة وقالوا وصف وصف وصفت وصفتم الله بالعجز 
فقلتم فإن إنه يقع في ملكه ما لا يريد وهذا يلزم منه أن يكون عاجزا عن أن يدفع شيء لا يريده وهذا من أبطل باطل. So Sheikh Abdul Aziz Raji Habib Allah Taala he mentioned uh, a big faida related to uh, the difference between Ahlul Sunnah and Ahlul Bid'ah and that Ahlul Bid'ah especially amongst the Qadariyah he said and this is why the Qadariyah that they they had or this is not why but this is the Qadariyah that they made ankar that they denied that sinfulness would happen or disobedience would happen by the permission of Allah and they say rather that the slave is the one who creates his own actions. Ahlul Sunnah, however, the other hand, which is from the usul of sun Sunnah and the foundations of the Sunnah and what the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu propagated in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So Ahlul Sunnah refutes them by saying, "You have now described a law with being unable." Or being ajiz, being uh, as if he is weak and unable to do something, and what you have said is that things happen in his dominion, in his creation, that he does not will. And then from this, this necessitates that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is unable to change those things, or rectify those things, or rectify anything, and that things happen outside of his will and he said that this is the most false of falsehoods there is no falsehood greater than that falsehood meaning that the slave creates their own actions no Allah created everything in the kulushayin khalaqahu biqadr Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created everything in accordance with his divine decree even the actions even our, our actions and that nothing happens outside the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as we mentioned, the two types of will, nothing happens outside of the will, uh, rather, koniya, that Allah created everything and he knows everything. And he, subhanahu wa ta'ala, decreed everything and he willed everything. That nothing happens outside of that. Even if it is something he dislikes, but he willed it out of his divine hikmah. And that the... Irada Sharia is in reference to the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, decreed everything and willed everything uh, and that refers to those things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. That, for example, we, we mention obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worshipping Him alone and having Iman. So everything happens in accordance with the divine will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then the Sheikh mentioned in related to that he said wal maqsood anna ma yaqa'a fi mulk fi mulk Allah min shururi wal ma'asi wal ma'asi wa kufri fa kullaha waqi'atun bi iradatihi al kawniya wa hiya ma dhalika muradatun la لذاتي لذاتها بل مرادة لما يترتب عليها من الحكم والمصالح. So the Sheikh said, so the in summary here, he said that everything that happened in the creation, in the creation of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, from evil and sinfulness and disbelief, all of it happens in accordance with irada koniya, with the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as we mentioned, the general will. And with that, it, it, it does not mean, however, that those things in and of themselves are, are pleasing to Allah. But rather, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from His divine wisdom and the rectification of the ummah, the rectif rectification of His creation, has decreed those things. And then the Shaykh will move on to the last martaba, the, the fourth level of 
the divine decree, the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and this is the Khalq wal Ijad. And this refers to the fact that we'll, we'll read what the, the Sheikh says. He says, Al Martaba Al Rabia Al Khalq wal Ijad Wakan Ankar al Qadri al Amum al Khalq wal Ijad. فقالوا إن الله لم يخلق الكفر والمعاصي وإن العبد هو الذي خلقهما فرد عليهم أهل السنة أي على القدرية على قدرية المتواسطة وهم الذين آمنوا بالعلم والكتاب ولكنهم أنكروا عموم الأراضى والمشية وعموم الخلق فأخرجوا أفعال العباد وقالوا إن الله ما أراد أفعال العباد ولا خلقها سواء كانت طاعة أو معصية فرارا من قول بأن الله قدر المعاصي ويعذب عليها لإلا يكون ظالما في زعمهم so this is very important. This gives us uh, the Aqidah of Ahl al-Batil, the Aqidah of the people of innovation and desires, especially the Qadariya. Those, uh, the, this is one group of the Qadariya, as the uh, Sheikh Abdulaziz Rajhi mentions, that this is the Qadariya al-Mutawasata. They're not the, the, they are another group of the Qadariya, and he's going to explain, uh, he explained what he meant by that. So the Sheikh said, Half of the law ta'ala. He said the the last level or the fourth level of the divine decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has to do with khalq, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created everything. And the qadariya in general deny that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this this level that Allah created everything. And rather they say that verily Allah did not create disbelief and did not create sinfulness. And that the slave is the one who created those two things. So then Ahl Sunnah refutes him because that is that is batil, that is falsehood. Allah created everything. He created good and bad. Khairihi wa sharrihi. So Ahl Sunnah, they refute them by saying that the, this Qadariya al mutawasata by saying that they are those who believe uh, uh, in the knowledge of Allah and that Allah... Uh, wrote everything in Allah al mahfuz but they believe that they deny in general that Allah uh, willed uh, everything, that it is accordance with his uh, irada wa mashia, so the irada kawniya that we mentioned. And they, uh, and also the amum al-khalq, they also deny that Allah created things in general, and they remove, they disbelieve that the slave or servants or that humankind, uh, uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created their actions. So they believe that we created our own actions and they say that verily Allah uh, does not will the, uh, the actions of the slave, nor does he create them, uh, regardless of whether it's obedience and disobedience, and the reason they do that is because they are afraid of saying that if everything is according to the Qadr of Allah, that Allah decreed sinfulness and then will punish the people for sinfulness. And then they believe that that would be a type of oppression in accordance to their claim. And so Ahl Sunnah refutes that. And that is in accordance with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine wisdom that he created those things and created the potential for evil and created evil. And then Sheikh Abdulaziz al Raji he said, Wahada Batal, Lianna Ladi Yunse bil Allah, Hua Khalk wa Ijad wa Kum fi Bada Makhlukati hi Shur, Fahada Mabniun ala Hikmati hi Ataala, Fayukun Khairan bi Nisbit bi Nisbiti lilla, Lianna Lemma Khalakohu, Khalakohu li Hikmatin, Lakinahu Shur bi Nisbiti lil Abd. فالكفر والمعاصي شر بنسبة للعبد الذي باشر المعاصي وفعلها 
فَيَتَضَرَّرُوا وَيُعَذِّبْ عَلَيْهَا وَالَّذِي يُنْسِبِ لَاللَّهِ يَخْلُقُ وَالْإِجَادِ وَهُوَ مَبْنِيٌ عَلَى حِكْمَةٍ كَمَا تَقَدَّمْ So the Shaykh is saying here, he said that that's false with the Qadriya claim and their claim that that is a type of oppression. He said because uh, we have to ascribe that Allah created everything and everything is in accordance with His will and that some of his creation is evil and contains evil and that this has to do with his divine wisdom, the wisdom of the Almighty and that goodness and righteousness is also attributed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he created those things as well and that he created all of these things with his divine wisdom. However, it may be evil, be considered evil to the slave. For example, if you, and I, this is my statement, if you experience a death in your family, or you experience a trial and tribulation, you may say, that is evil what happened to me. Or someone beat you up or robbed you or what have you. That's an evil action that occurred to you. So it, according to your wisdom and according to your experience, that's an evil action. But to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there may be a divine wisdom that there may become a greater good out of that action, out of what we see the struggle and tri tribulations that we see the ummah happen happening to the ummah right now, to the community. But there may there's a greater wisdom that we don't see and we may not be able to understand that is from our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then the Shaykh said, So disbelief and and sinfulness is is evil in accordance to the slave that uh, falls into sinfulness and so and does it and that they are harmed by that and they will be punished for disobedience however to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he's the one who created all these things and these things are in accordance with his divine wisdom then the Shaykh mentioned some of the other groups that went astray with regarding the divine decree and we will stop there and it's not necessary for us to go uh, in depth in those issues, but we'll continue on in our treaties and our study of some of the other aspects of the treaties. And anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself or the shaitan.